so we're gonna so what we're doing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple videos of people trying to like kids trying to stop a robbery and and it's gonna be an attempt and let's see if he if he can do it so it's 11 minutes so there it is right there Put it up, put it up a little bit. Boy attempts to stop armed robbers. Punch and fly. Yep. Police have released surveillance video of an armed robbery at a game shop in Maryland where a young boy attempts to stop the crime. Right. The incident occurred on May 20th at this game shop store in Silver Spring just before 9 p.m. Wow. According to police records, the boy and his parents were shopping for stuffed animals. The boy was on the hunt for stuffed Yoshi. Two robbers entered the store wearing masks and carrying handguns. One robber ordered customers to gather against the wall near the counter, but the boy wasn't having it. The robber wasn't about to uh, rob this game shop. Unfortunately, the boy's bravery didn't quite match his size. Ultimately, the robbers made away with some cash and personal property. No one was injured, but the robbers are still at large. Right. Well, at least one good thing came from the incident. The store gave the boys the Yoshi. This is eight-year-old Tyler Dewan, and he is a true hero. Tyler lost his life in a fire after saving six people. Knowing that Monday was a national holiday, Tyler asked his mom if he could spend Sunday night at his grandfather's trailer home in Penfield, New York. There's Grandpa's be a home was a favorite there? place for Tyler. But at a There's going to be a robbery around there. Around 4.30 a.m., Tyler awoke to find the trailer filling with smoke. He quickly woke up two of his cousins who were also staying over. Tyler also managed to wake up his grandmother, aunt, and two other adults in the trailer and helped usher them to safety. After rescuing the lives of six people, Tyler discovered that his grandfather and disabled uncle had not yet escaped. He bravely charged back into the burning trailer to rescue them, but he never returned. Firefighters later found three bodies in the trailer, and a spokesperson had this to say. There was fire rolling all the length of the trailer over their heads. Uh, they weren't able to get inside. This fire smoldered for a period of time. Most likely the occupants were somewhat overcome with carbon monoxide poisoning and, and toxic gases were released in fire. That, that's usually what um, causes fire deaths, not necessarily heat. Uh, there was a woman that was burned with second degree burns that was taken to Strong Hospital. Uh, I believe she had also attempted to, uh, to go back in to try and uh, get the other three out. Local residents are hailing Tyler as a hero who gave his life to save his family. Rest in peace, young man. You're a true hero. Mm -hmm. Girl kills massive alligator with crossbow. A 10-year-old girl took down an alligator nearly 10 times her size with a single crossbow during a hunt in southern Texas late last month. Wow. The reportedly record-setting kill saw Ella Hawk shoot a 13-foot, 800-pound gator in front of her proud parents, Tony and Cindy, wow, next to the pretty, Guadalupe River, that's just a pretty big alligator. Encouraged by mom and dad, that's a, a pretty big alligator Ella right reportedly right positioned there. herself some 15 yards from the alligator in Damn. preparation for the kill. Relaxed and cool as a cucumber, according to her dad, Ella pointed her weapon at the target and delivered a picture-perfect shot that sent the arrow flying and landing right above the large reptile's two eyes, paralyzing and killing it instantly. Just to make sure it was dead, though, her hunting guide handed her two insurance arrows, the first of which she apparently Robin Hooded and sent right through her original killing blow. Apparently this wasn't enough, though, so just to be absolutely extra, extra sure, trophy animal was prepped and ready for a taxidermist, the hunting guide handed the preteen girl a 243 caliber pistol to finish the job right. Despite the size of the animal, Ella's parents, who have been taking her hunting for years, were no doubt not too surprised by their daughter's hunting prowess. I was more nervous than her before the shot, said her dad speaking to the Victoria Advocate. She is nervous of steel before the shot. She's just gifted like that, I guess. Screw the dentist! Badass 11-year-old girl pulls out baby tooth with a sling bow. 
Alright Alexis, when you're ready, go ahead and shoot your tooth out of your face. You ever tie a loose baby tooth to a door and slam it shut? Well, this little girl just made you look like a wimp. Alexis Davidson is from Aurora, Colorado, where her dad raises alligators and is also known as the Gator Wrestler. So when she decided to get rid of a baby tooth, she opted for the appropriately named Badass Slingbow to remove it. Ouch! Now that looks like some enamel cruelty. Now, this is really, really bad language for kids. Please don't use this language. I think that's a scream of joy. Last we heard, she was busy laying a snare trap for the Tooth Fairy. Karate Kid saves defenseless child from older bullies. A Springfield, Massachusetts teen used his martial arts training to defend wow. a child with mental disabilities from older bullies last week. Okay, While walking out of class last Monday, Roman Rodriguez saw a person in need of help. The 16-year-old witnessed a group of teenagers bullying a defenseless 11-year-old and decided to intervene. He confronted the leader of the group identified as a teen named Angel, who was much larger than him. The menacing bully attempted to strike, but was effortlessly dispatched by Rodriguez. No doubt intimidated by the powerful warrior, the thugs fled the area, swearing to exact revenge upon Rodriguez. Angel returned, wielding a large kitchen knife and flanked by his mother, who encouraged her son to stab Rodriguez, who was accompanied by his martial artist father. Police soon arrived at the scene and charged Angel with assault with a dangerous weapon and his mother with disorderly conduct. How a toddler survived 14 hours in the cold after you saw a car crash. A toddler was suspended above icy water for 14 hours after a car creamed at the Utah Spanish Fork River. Her mother, Liz Jennifer Grosbeck, was killed in the accident. The rear portion of the vehicle was high enough out of the water that Grosbeck's 18-month-old toddler stayed dry after their car plunged into a Utah River at 10.30 p.m. last Friday night. As icy water flowed through the car's open windows, the child remained strapped to her safety seat. A toddler's organs are healthier than an adult, and young children are able to better withstand trauma as a result. The toddler's body probably prioritized blood flow to her brain, heart, and other organs crucial for survival. cold could also have caused the toddler's heart rate to decrease, forcing her into a state similar to hibernation, until a fisherman caught sight of the vehicle around noon the next day. The water in the river was so cold last weekend that seven emergency responders had to be treated for hypothermia after rescuing the toddler. Spanish Fork Police Lieutenant Nat Johnson told the Washington Post it's a miracle the child was able to survive. five-year-old saves her blind grandma and family dog from burning home. Little Chloe Woods may only be in pre-kindergarten, but she has enough wisdom to know what to do when the house is on fire. Waking up to the sound of the beeping smoke detector on Wednesday morning, Chloe wondered what might be wrong. When she went to investigate, she found the stove in the kitchen had caught on fire. Her mom was up to drop her siblings off at school, so Chloe took it upon herself to wake up her blind grandmother and get her to safety. Her grandmother wanted to get her shoes on, but Chloe said no and insisted they get out. She put grandma's hand on her shoulder and walked her and the dog outside. Once in the clear, she told neighbors to call 911 and ask for water to help put out the fire. Thanks to her quick thinking, which she learned from a class trip to the fire department in October, no one was in danger for too long. Her teacher started a GoFundMe page to help the family recoup some money for the damages, and after only a day, it surpassed the $5,000 goal. Who needs Superman when you've got a responsible and attentive five-year-old like this? Texas school suspends students for taking sick classmates to the nurse. At Gateway Middle School in Killian, Texas, it's probably best if you mind your own business because helping out a classmate could get you in big trouble. Take 15-year-old Anthony hey. Ruela. The eighth grader was in class Tuesday morning when the girl beside him started having an asthma attack. The teacher, like any sensible educator seeing a student unable to breathe, fired off an email to the nurse and waited for instructions on what to do. As the minutes passed and the teacher continued to diligently wait to be told what to do, the student's condition worsened and she eventually collapsed to the floor. That's when Ruella sprung into action. He picked his classmate up, saying, that, we ain't got time to wait for no email from the nurse, and took her to the nurse's office. 
that as a reward for its heroic actions, he, he got a big language. fat one-day suspension because, well, protocol. To add insult to injury, Ruelas' mother said the school called her the next day to ask why her son wasn't in school. She's now seriously considering homeschooling him. Child takes the wheel when elderly driver suffers diabetic attack. Meet Christopher Wheeler. When driving with his seven-year-old neighbor, Alfred Smith, last week, this ten-year-old Alabama boy found himself in a terrifying situation. Smith began suffering from a diabetic attack while driving on Interstate 65 last week. Instead of panicking, Christopher took control of the car and brought it to a halt. A state trooper had been following the car and gave the driver something to eat as the emergency responders arrived. Authorities say Christopher's actions may have saved not only his life and Smith's, but those of other drivers as well. Nice going, Christopher. Yep. Six-year-old hero dies trying to save 12-year-old sister. In Camden, New Jersey, Osvaldo Riviera, a 31-year-old man high on PCP and marijuana, broke into a house and started to rape the 12-year-old girl he found inside. The girl's younger brother, who was only oh, six, perfect. attacked the man in an attempt to defend his sister. Rivera stabbed and slashed the throat of the toddler before slashing the throat of the sister. She was able to flee to the neighbors who called the police. The sister has accused Rivera of rape and was treated at hospital for a 12-inch gash in her throat, but says that her baby brother was her hero. Osvaldo Rivera has been charged with murder and attempted murder. Additional charges are pending further investigation. Rivera has not entered a plea at this time. This is the second PCP-related attack in Camden. Earlier this year in August, a woman high on PCP decapitated her two-year-old child before taking her own life. So that basically pretty much really that's pretty much a really really good show not really of a but you know what please subscribe if you haven't and please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up this really helps out if you subscribe give this video a thumbs up and when you subscribe and and hit that bell that 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 tells me that you like the video and you want to see more of it so please subscribe if you haven't and give this video a big thumbs up all right so that was the people that was the kids saving that was the, hold on, I forgot what it was. Yeah, it's kids saving adults' lives. And that's pretty much it. And if you like Little Bites, or if you haven't tried Little Bites, please subscribe. All right, bye-bye. Love you, bye-bye.